What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to color and customize different things in FL Studio 20. There really isn't that many things that you guys can customize in FL Studio in general, but I'm going to be teaching you guys how to color and customize majority of the stuff that you guys will probably want to customize. It also helps organizing your beats and tracks if you guys record and stuff like that. It's really good to like just color out everything and just you know, keep everything organized. So I'm going to be going over all that. I basically just made like a quick beat by using one of my loops and I just added some drums to it. I'll just play that for you real quick and then we'll customize it. Alright, yeah, so you see I have my beat right there. Uh, basically everything's on pattern one and then I got my loop right here. Actually, let me just hide the side panel right there. You just click that button and it just hides it. And uh, that just gives us more space to work with. So basically I got my loop right here and then I got my pattern right here. And then if you click this one right here, the channel rack, it'll have all your instruments. So you can see this beat's very minimal. There's not that many stuff on it. I just named everything what it's supposed to be named. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you guys how to color this back area right here, the playlist tab. Uh, there's really not that much you can do to customize it. You can just kind of color it and it's very simple. All you do is click this drop down arrow right here and you go to view and then grid color. And from here, you can actually pick colors. So I actually have mine to like this black color because I think it looks cool, but you guys can really put it whatever color you want right here. So it's not really that hard to do that. Uh, I personally, like the dark color, I think it looks the best, but maybe you guys might find a color you like, like that wasn't it. Yeah, so see like some kind of nasty green. Uh, I'll do like two more different colors. Maybe we'll find like a nice one. Maybe a red. You can play with the hue right here so you can get different colors. And uh, saturation, basically like how bright or pale it looks, like washed out. And then you can do the luminance. This is how bright it is. And this is how like dark it is. Saturation is how vibrant and pale, I guess the best way to describe it. So if I click that, that's what that color is. Yeah, we'll try like a blue now steel blue I don't know you can mess around with these RGB colors so this is a blue I want blue high and it can lower these stuff basically you can just find uh, colors just by moving some of these stuff around or you can move this around and then when you click accept I find that darker colors actually turn out better for this so this dark blue doesn't look that bad now personally again I'm gonna say it, I like the black one the black one looks the best you don't have control over these grids so basically I picked a blue but it made this light this dark this whatever this dark so yeah just so you can like see different four bar beats so it's not a bad idea that they did like that but at the same time you don't get the color that you want but anyways that's how you color the playlist section uh, next we're gonna color the other stuff so Basically, I have this beat made out right here. Uh, normally, you're gonna have them all in a pattern, so I got everything in pattern one. And I also have the loop right here. So loop is on one pattern, pattern one has everything else, all the drum instruments. Uh, if you click the channel rack, it opens up this. Actually, let me hide this first. I'm gonna hide the side panel. We have the channel rack open, and the first thing you can do to customize is double click in this smaller section right here and it will actually highlight everything so all these boxes are highlighted green that's how you know everything's highlighted and when they're all highlighted a color you can then go to this drop down right here and you can uh, go to color selected then you can do either random or gradient i don't like doing random because it just messes up stuff i always do gradient and i just pick two colors so <clears throat> i'm just gonna pick two random colors i'll pick like this Red, I don't know why it says brown. You just move it around, Indian red. And then you can click last. So I clicked first, pick the color. Now I'm gonna click last and pick another color. And it'll make a gradient between those two colors. Now this works really well if you have lots and lots of uh, instruments here, but I don't really have that many. So the gradient won't be as gradient. It'll be more like, you know, 
color blocks. Basically, the more you have, the more smooth the gradient will be. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. Got those colors right there. Still looks pretty proper. And yeah, so I colored this all the way to here. Normally, you don't really use the sample. Uh, so I'm probably going to just delete the sample because I don't need the sample. And yeah, so this is what this is looking like right now. So the next thing that you can do is rename and color these stuff. So I already colored all of them, so I don't actually need to color. But if you wanted to color, you just click here and you pick a color. But I don't want to do that because I already set a gradient and made them all the way I wanted it. Uh, you can also rename this stuff here. So I'm going to call this, um, I don't know, Savage Speaks Loop. Right, and then you can also click these icons right here, and you can pick an icon. So, it's gonna pick that. And then, as you can see, I got a color on it, got a name, and I got a little icon. So, I'm gonna do this for the rest of them, and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, guys, so I just finished putting icons and everything. Now, another thing that you guys can do is reorder your list. So I like having the loop at the top and then I like having the 808s right under that and then the kick. So if you just select this smaller box right here, so this is the 808s highlighted and you hold alt and then press the up arrow, then you can move it up. And I just do that for everything else and just organize them the way I want to organize them. So I always like organizing my stuff, uh, 808s, kicks, snares, and then whatever. Uh, yeah. But now as you can see, the colors all messed up. They're all out of order, but it's an easy fix. Just do the same thing. Double click in here, get everything highlighted, go to color selected gradient, and it will actually have the two colors that you picked uh, from start to finish, or you can just pick new colors. It doesn't really matter. So in my case, I'll just pick like a new Indian red, and then I'll pick last, and I'll probably just use like one of these. That looks cool. And so yeah, see it made like a new gradient. It actually looks kind of ugly. I'm gonna change that real quick. All right, so I picked two colors that look kind of similar. The reason why my gradient look kind of ugly here is like I was saying before, is that I don't really have that many uh, instruments. So you can imagine that it trying to do a gradient from one color to a whole nother color. There's not much in betweens for it to fade nicely. So. Basically, you want to pick, if you don't have that many instruments, it's best to just pick colors that are similar so the fade doesn't look that bad. See what I mean? But yeah, it's up to you guys. Next thing that you guys can do is actually select everything and uh, you can color the mixer track. Now you can see I already colored these two. Uh, same process, just right click and change color or rename color and icon if you guys want to do that. But as you guys can see, I already have everything here, all colored, iconed, and named. So if I select everything and then go to the mixer track, uh, you can get the mixer track by clicking this button. And then I right click the first one because I want to start with my loop at number one. It's already there. I already EQ'd out like the low end. But I want to start loop here and then move it down. So right click and channel routing starting from this track. And basically, it will take all the colors and icons and everything that I had and apply it in order that I set here. So that's why I organized everything in the way that I wanted it. I did, you know, 808s, kicks, snares, whatever. And when I transfer over to here, all that comes, 808s, kicks, snares, whatever. And you get all the icons up top. You get all the colors in the same order that they are here. And yeah, everything just organized for you. So yeah, that's how you customize and color the mixer track. You can also just right click and you know, same thing, rename color, color or icon. So same process, pretty much the same process almost everywhere in FL Studio, but I'm gonna keep on moving on and just show you a couple more places. The next place is actually the patterns right here. So as I said, I had this one pattern and I had the loop. As you can see, the loop actually changed color and name when I did it here because the loop isn't a pattern, it's just a loop. So it automatically updates. The patterns, however, all of these are inside pattern number one. So this color isn't colored. What you could do is split all these. And that's what I like to do, especially when I'm laying out my beats. I like to split it so it's easier to work with. But 
essentially you can just highlight everything and then go up to pattern one, right click and then click split by channel. And that will split everything by channel. So now you see pattern one is gone and it says 808, but it actually has everything there. Where pattern one was, it just split all of them there. So if I moved it down, you can see everything was there. I'm just gonna delete all of that and show you guys something else. So now that I've colored, or now that I've split by channel, it actually split pattern one over here into all of these different sections. And so what you could do is when you have these sides colored, you can just drag it onto the tracks right here and it will actually just color it, name it, and icon it, same as before. Uh, same thing with the pattern, the pattern is split. If you click the first one, hold shift and click the last one, it'll highlight all of them and then you could drag it on. So I'm gonna start from track two and it'll just go down all of them right there. Uh, yeah. Just wanna fill that out. And uh, I'm not gonna lay out this beat because that's not what this video is for, but basically the beats here and when I wanna lay it out, I can just drag stuff around, you know, I can hold shift, drag another air to weight, you know, put the kicks right wherever I want. Basically I do whatever I want, you know what I'm saying? You can hold control B and you can put them, layer them out. But basically everything that you really need to color and customize is now colored and customized. And if you ever want to change the color of anything, you can always right click it, go to rename color icon. You can literally do that anywhere, rename and color. And yeah, so basically those are all the main stuff that you guys can customize in FL Studio. Uh, FL Studio in general is lacking customization. So yeah, those are the main things that you guys can really customize. This is how you get your beats organized and looking nice. Uh, there's some other gimmicky stuff that you could do. Like you can, uh, if you're in the playlist, you can click view and then you can do, go to this section right here where it says behind clips and you can actually change the way these things look. So it's a glass right now. Uh, they kind of suck. So I don't really mess around with these. But if you guys want to do that, then you guys could. Plain, fine clip, aqua, it looks just like glass. Like the customization in FL Studio actually sucks, but it is what it is. Solid is not that bad. Like if you didn't want to see through stuff, you can just go with solid, but I don't like it. I like the default. The default is cell. I like it like this. I think this one looks the best, but no personal preference. So that's something that you guys can do. Um, I think that you guys can do is color all the stuff that you want, you know, set up like a default template. So when you open up FL Studio, you can just open your template and all your stuff will be colored. And then you just assign the instruments to wherever you laid them out to be. But uh, that's something that could save you time, but I don't really like doing that. I like coloring everything whenever I do it. You know, I just, I just like doing it that way. I guess the last, last thing that you guys can do, it's probably something else, but the last uh, notable thing is you guys can change the background image here. If you go view and then background, you can actually change the image wallpaper and stuff like that set to a color, uh, dynamic wallpaper. I think they have like a couple default ones that you guys can use, or you guys can set the image wallpaper. Now I like this one, so I'm not even going to bother changing it. I don't want the headache, but if you guys wanted to do that, you could. But again, that's like not necessary because you don't even see it. So I wouldn't even bother doing that. I would just stick to the main customization that I showed you guys at the start of the video and just leave it at that. Everything else is just kind of a waste of time. It's extra stuff that you guys don't really need, but it's there for you. Hopefully this covered most of your questions when it comes to coloring and customizing FL Studio. Uh, FL Studio, again, in general, doesn't have that great customization, but it is what it is. Uh, you guys can do the stuff that I showed you and it makes your beats look nicer makes everything look more organized and Personally, I just like doing it because you know, it makes it just easier to look at basically But yeah, this is how you customize and color different stuff in FL Studio I'm using FL Studio 20 in case you guys are wondering but yeah Hopefully you guys liked the video if you guys did please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, you guys can check out my other video. I have a Playboy Cardi tutorial video. 
it actually goes in depth in FL Studio in general. So you cover a lot of different stuff and learn how to use FL Studio better while learning how to make a Playboy Cardi type beat at the same time. So I'd recommend checking that tutorial out. And yeah, if you guys enjoy these tutorials, please hit a like and subscribe just to keep on the lookout for more videos. I will be posting more tutorials. I'll also make a tutorial for this beat as well. But if there's anything that you guys want to see in particular, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Just let me know. Or you guys can DM me on IG. I don't use Twitter, so you're going to have to hit me in the comment section or IG. Just hit me up and let me know what you guys want to see. All my links will be in the description down below and I'll catch you guys in another video.